Hello everyone, it's almost Chinese New Year and today we'll be actually doing a book about Chinese New Year and this book is called Goldilocks and the Three Pandas. When Goldilocks was born, her mother said, Ear of the Golden Dragon, very lucky ear. This child will have good luck. She has a face as round as a gold coin, said her father. This child will be bring great wealth. But Goldie had neither great wealth nor good luck. In fact, she could never seem to keep money in her piggy bank, and she had a bad habit of breaking things. One Chinese New Year, Goldie's mother woke her up and sent her to wish the neighbors Kung Hai Fat Choi but Mama, I'm still sleepy. I'm so hungry. It'll only take a minute, her mother said. Mr. and Mrs. Chan would enjoy a visit from you. Take these turner cakes to share with little Chan. He never shares stuff with me, murmured Goldie. It's the new year, her mother warned. Wash away all the arguments and be nice, or you'll have bad luck. Not more bad luck. Last year, she lost the red envelope her grandma had given her, and her best friend moved away. So Goldie walked next door to the Chan's apartment. She knocked on the door. No answer. She knocked again, still no answer. Goldie gave the door a little push. It swung open, and she tumbled in, dropping the plate. Tuna cakes catapulted all over the floor. Oh no, Goldie cried. A whole plate of tuna cakes ruined. That was bad luck for sure. She wandered into the kitchen to find a broom. On the table were three steaming bowls of congee, a ceramic bowl, a wooden bowl, and a plastic bowl. Her tummy grumbled. Surely nobody would mind if she had one little bite of rice porridge. She sampled the congee from the ceramic bowl. Ugh, too watery. She tasted the congee from the wooden bowl. Yuck, too thick and clumpy. Well, I would like thick and clumpy. Then she slurped some congee from the plastic bowl. Mmm, just right. Before she knew it, she had eaten it all up. All that congee made Goldie even sleepier than she already was. Maybe she could just rest a bit and wait for the chance. She walked into the living room and saw three chairs. She plumped down on Mr. Chan's massage chair. Something hard steam rolled up and down her back. Out! She cried. Springing to her feet, too rough. Next, she plopped into Mrs. Chan's armchair and disappeared into the fluffy pillows. She felt like stuffing in a pork bun. Oof! She mumbled, too soft. 
Then she squeezed herself into little Chan's rocking chair. Wee! She shouted as she rocked back and forth. <laughs> Let me too. But she pushed too hard, and the chair somersaulted backward. It hit the floor with a splintering crash. Oh no! Goldie exclaimed. Seven years bad luck, or was that a meter? In either case, she was still so sleepy. She ambled into the bedroom to find a place to lie down. Just for a few minutes, she reasoned. She climbed into a king-sized bed. The mattress felt as hard as a week old almond cookie. Oh. Ugh, too uncomfortable. Next, she flopped into a queen-sized bed. The electric bed began to fold her up like a dumpling. Yikes! Too scary! She cried. Then she leaped off and settled down into Little Chan's futon. Ah, just right! She sighed and fell fast asleep. The Chan's finally returned home. Who dropped these turnip cakes all over the floor? Exclaimed Mrs. Chan. I didn't clean them up," added Mrs. Chan. "A whole plate of turnip cakes ruined," ground little Chan. They headed into the kitchen. "Hey, who's been eating my kanji?" demanded Mr. Chan. "And who's been eating my kanji?" cried Mrs. Chan. Little Chan wailed, "And don't have any kanji. Someone eaten mine all up." Mr. Chan heard a humming in the living room. He went to investigate. Someone's turned on my massage chair. He bellowed, and someone's rumpled. The cushions on my armchair," yelled Mrs. Chan. "I don't even have a chair!" shouted Little Chan. "It's been smashed to pieces!" <gasps> When the three Chans looked in the bedroom, Mr. Chan hollered. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and someone's been sleeping in my bed," screamed Mrs. Chan. "Look," said Little Chan, "it's Goldilocks sleeping on my futon." Big words. Apartment. Clumpy. Red envelope. Feast. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again.